Hello everyone, this is Aida Golami from Agreement Self Research Company and in this video I'm going to teach you how to split mirrored cells in Excel. So as you can see here, I have some, you know, I have written class numbers and then the name of students. So say I have some students which are categorized in um, two classes. Okay, so now I want to, I don't know, do something with their marks or do something with the calculations of the total marks um, and so on and so forth. So, um, the, you know, the main thing I wanted to mention in this video was that uh, how actually you merge and unmerge. So, uh, basically, first of all, um, you know that when you select the, the you know the desired merged um, area then go to home tab as I am already and then go to merge and center and in this list click on merge and center keeps the upper left value and discards the other values I know and you can see that it's merged so I want to do it with the other one so that I have two merged cells. Now I want to actually have it in the center. And okay, so you can see that these are merged. What should I do to have them to unmerge? So that's so simple and easy. I just have to um, select the cell, select actually the merged cell, go to the uh, same list and go for unmerged cells. So you can see that it's unmerged and actually if you have a whole range of uh, merged cells you can simply select both or maybe select the whole area or whatever so I have these two only and go to the same um, area and unmerge it. So there was just a tip I wanted to mention in this video and that's how you can take this situation to back. So the uh, previous situation was that these cells actually were filled with this class number one and these were filled with class number two so that you can understand Mary is in which class and RF is in which class and so on and so forth. So what you will do in this situation is that you go for first uh, selecting this range which you want to apply this um, you know, situation and then you go for find and select and click on go to special so in go to special window you check the blanks uh, you know radio button click OK and then here you can see that all blanks are selected then what I will do is to put an equal mark and then press the uh, upper, uh, you know, sign button in your keyboard. So here you can see that I have a simple formula to fill each uh, blank cell with the upper uh, text. Then as I want to copy the situation to all blank cells, I go for not enter, but control enter and boom and that's all failed with the desired text so that's it for today's video i hope you learned something new please don't forget to give this video a thumb up and subscribe to the channel i will see you in the next video and bye